Yo, what's going on, T3 Squad? Hashtag it Google. Just look us up. We everywhere. What the? What is that? What? What is it? I don't know. Want me to get it? I don't know. Go yeah. Oh, wow. Look at all them shirts. Right. See that shirt right there? Yeah. Dang. I, I heard word on the street. You was called TV3. You know, you get 10% off your order. I want that one right there. Yeah. Use code TV3. Go to bucketculture.com. Use code TV3 for a 10% discount off your entire order plus free shipping. Now, today's video, I'm going to be quizzing my mom on NBA rules. Now, now, what would you say your experience with the NBA is like? Like, on a scale, viewer-wise, like, you watch but you don't know, or you, you know but you watch? I watch, and sometimes I know, and what I don't know, I ask you. I have a quiz pulled up here. I don't know the I don't know the questions. She don't know the questions. She she ain't gonna know all of the answers, so let's get no, that down. I'm not. So, <clears throat> let's just see how many she can get. Let's go. Question number one, you ready? Pay attention. A player dunks the ball and then slaps the backboard while he still hangs on the rim. He lands on the ground to be immediately given a technical. Is this the right call? I thought this was totally different. I was about to say that's called a slam dunk. Okay. What's wrong with you? He holds on to the rim and they give him a technical? Is that what you said? He no, dunked, that's not the right call. No, he dunked the ball while he hanging on the on the rim. He slaps the backboard. Oh yeah. And he, he get, when he when he lands off the thing, the ref gives him a technical. Is that the right call? Um. Probably yeah, because he probably not supposed to slap the the glass. Correct. Okay. Uh, it says contrary to popular belief, it is a technical foul to slap the backboard. Yes, it is because that's like. Showing uh, unsportsmanlike conduct. Yeah. Okay, now question number two. Player A, I'm gonna say I'm just gonna use Kyrie and LeBron because okay. you know the difference between the two. Mm -hmm. Kyrie dribbles the ball with two seconds left on the clock. He throws up a shot at the buzzer and is fouled with no time on the clock. Mm -hmm. The referee calls the foul and everybody gets in position for a free throw. Is this the right call? Yes, it is. Why do you think? You think you because, think it's because the timeout you still because, because the referee called it, so did he still get to go to the free throw line, and those two shots can make a difference with winning the game or losing the game. And Grant, you know, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't ask this, but yet yeah, usually they're, they'll go look back at the time so really, it wouldn't be no right time on the clock. So yeah. Ooh, player two, you got it wrong. Oh wow. It says although time has expired, the player shoots a free throw, but no defensive players are allowed to line up. Oh, they try to trick with that. One. Oh, cause the only reason it's wrong because they're saying because the nobody team can line, line up. up. But he, he just still. Be, you know, like at the games where like the game be like it's over, but one person is still there shooting free throws. That's that's what they're talking about. Back to uh, okay, back to Kyrie. Okay, Kyrie runs dribbles down the court near the sideline. So he's running and he's dribbling down the sideline. The referee blows the whistle and says Kyrie is out of bounds. Kyrie looks down and sees that his shoelace is laying across the out of bounds line. But the rest of his shoe is in bounds. Is that the right call? Is he out of bounds? He out of bounds. The shoe apart, the shoestring apart of his shoe. So that's yes. And if you that close to where your shoestring over, you gotta believe a little bit of your shoe over there too. Yeah, Kyrie. You ain't got no long shoe strings like that. It says the out of bound rule states that if any part of the player is touching the floor across the line, then he is out. Even the shoelace can lead to an out of bounds call. Mm -hmm. And Ooh. that's even if the referee want to be petty like that, but he can be. Why your shoes untied, Kyrie? Two. You got two out of five. Damn, I failed. <laughs> So, hey, I, I, 
actually, no, no, I don't think she got two. I think the ones that was tricky, like that that last one, she, we both know we said it right, but you know they was tricky about it. So technically we wrong, but technically we right. So I don't know. But you did, you did better than I thought she was. Right. Hey. So yeah, on that note, comment down below. I other, still passed it, y'all. Comment down below what other videos you want to see, what other quiz you want me to put her to, and I'll do it. Like, subscribe, share, use code TB3 at BucketCulture.com. BucketCulture.com. What code they got to use? TB3. For 10% off they whole order. 10% off. Free shipping, too. Absolutely. Yeah, can't Go on, get that. you some. Go on, get you some. One or two. Maybe even five, you know. You get 10%. Why well, not you know take what I'm saying? Notes? Money might be a little funny. Yeah, you know. Go on, like, get two. On that note, like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know what other videos you want me to do. What other quizzes you want me to put it to. And yeah, I'm out. Peace. Peace.